All right, people, here is the deck profile for Necro. So Necros are on here for two months, which is fine. It started off with, like, I have no idea how to play Necros, Mr. Forever Epic. Please hold my hand. I'm a little baby. I don't know how to play Necros, too. All right, this is this is easy, you know. Uh, and literally made my own Necros deck for the first time. Like I said, uh, when they were on the capacity, never touched them. I have never touched Necros outside of them being on Daily Duels for these last two months. And, you know, they were a fine deck. I can totally understand why... Uh, Shrit is banned now, I could play in the deck, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the deck profile, uh, tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, and uh, you know, I, I'm not saying I'm a Necros expert, but over my two months of playing it, it I, I got used to it, I got used to it. So of course we're playing two Trish, two Trish, because uh, I can Trish you twice, and you know, uh, I the deck kind of turned into just Trish dot deck, and while I can't use Trish as the full tribute anymore, uh, you know, I can find some ways, I, I can find a combination of levels to go ahead and bust out that Trish issue with it and its power, so you know what Trish does. Uh, three Valkyries, because there's a lot of level 4s in here, uh, and I totally don't mind tripping enough monsters I don't need to draw. I mean, that's power. Uh, then one Brielle, because that one. One Unicorn, because that one. Both of these deserve to be at one. It should stay at one. Like, all, I think for, for now, after the Duel of Lines era, I think all the hits to Necros were totally justified. Like, there's not a single hit where I'm like, why'd you do that? Like, shit, bam, sure. You know, we try that one. We saw how that worked out. Brio, yes. Lower the consistency. Unicorn, one, yes. You know, because that play is ridiculous, especially with, uh, with, uh, Kaleido Mirror and sending that Herald that's just power, so, yes. Uh, and we run Triple Colossalus. Uh, Colossus has definitely stepped it up in the deck, uh, since the hit, so, uh, not only do I use Colossus to go ahead and pitch to get me a Necros, uh, spell. I don't know why it says trap. I don't think I have any traps, but Necros spell, uh, for my deck to my hand, but also it's an enabler for my Kaleido Mirrors, whether it be sending the Shooting Star to summon Trish plus Colossalus, or sending the Star Eater for Valkyrie plus Colossalus. Colossus has definitely stepped it up in this deck uh, since it's hit, in my opinion. Let me run Triple Manju, Triple Senju, search the Necro, well, this can search your Necro spells and traps and monsters, uh, spells and monsters, but mostly search for monsters, because monsters are important. You know, I can go ahead and get my Mirrors eventually through their uh, graveyard effect. If I control my monsters, I can go ahead and banish uh, the, this respective mirror and the Necro's monster. Go ahead and search for a mirror. So that's doable, but I need to get the Necro much as soon as possible. Run one Trick Clown, because rank 4 shenanigans and level 4 shenanigans. One uh, Thousand Blade for combo shenanigans. One Glow Up Bulb, because uh, not only do I want to Trish you, but I also like to Trish you. So, yes. Uh, then I played the, the Brilliant Fusion engine. Uh, I opted to go with two Garnet, three Brilliant Fusion. I do not want to go with one, especially with the number generator. Because if I draw this at one, these are all three are dead. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and do two, three. Uh, I think because of the spell count in here is kind of high, 17 spells, so you could put Summoner Monk in here if you want. So 21 monsters. Uh, one, Preparation of Right, because it's literally the deck that got prep hit, so yep. One Regeki, alright. Uh, one Rota, as you can clearly see, there are some warriors, so now that we have Thousand Blade, but mostly, search that Colossus, you need Colossus, he will be very helpful. The more Colossus you have, the sooner you get Colossus to the hand, the better you're off in this day. Three Brilliant Fusion, I talked about that. Three Insta Fusion, uh, you know, despite Norden getting hit, we'll still do it, because, you know, if I can go Insta Fusion, summon Norden, Norden summon back at level four, and then summon Glow Up Ball, bam, there's Trash, so get fucked up. So, um... One node and one thousand I restrict with the three institution. I mean, that's just the classic play right now. Uh, one Necro Cycle. This is arguably the weakest mirror to me. Uh, I don't think I really used it, and if I did, I didn't use it often. Uh, I only ran it because I saw a lot of Necro decks running one uh, cycle, one mirror, and one, I mean, three Kaleido. Kaleido is definitely the best out uh, of three now since the hits. So maybe if I. Uh, add Shriet, maybe I would totally be willing if this was in the graveyard, summon this, tribute to Shriet for the whole cost of, of Trish, summon Trish, uh, Shriet get the search, but I don't have that, so I don't think I ever really summoned a Necro Monsters from my graveyard. Uh, Exomir, one, because I can go ahead and banish one Brio and one Colossalus to summon Trish, and Trish you. Uh, I already talked about that, whether it be with Valkyrus and Colossalus, summon with sending level eater, I mean, Star Eater, not Eater, Star Eater, totally different, two different monsters, holy crap, uh, or sending Quasar for Trish and Colossus, or sending uh, Herald for Unicorn, getting a search, it's all there. Uh, Twin Twisters, pop that back row, clear up that back row, hit you with that Trish. Uh, and, of course, they're not even back row, so, uh, but I can easily make uh, Trap Tricks Raphalasia with the rank 4s, and I mean, the level 4s in this deck, so uh, one bottomless and one Treacherous Trap home, uh, Trish Tackle. 
If I control no trap cards, I can go ahead and pop two much on the field, then hit you with the bottomless. Uh, after that, like I said, one Norden, 1,000 at Rich Trick. Uh, the two shooting stars start either Trish, uh, Harold, I mean, I pretty much know these. I decided to go with two Seth, uh, just because if I bust it out twice, that's fine, because uh, Seth is a level 5, all I need is level 4. Bam, there's Trish. There's 9 right there. 5 plus 4 is 9. Uh, then one Wrath. Uh, two Diamond Dyers. Go ahead and pop them card, them back rows, because I can go into a lot of rank 4s. Pop it and then go off. One Castell, because of course Castell, Dweller, because Dweller is like one of the best rank 4s in Yu Gi Oh! right now. And Dr. Zermo to recycle my plays. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to go ahead and take the Necros deck and go have fun with it yourself, more pack to you. Want to make changes, more pack to you. It was fun for the last two months to play Necros, and uh, it was one of the few decks here on Daily Duels to actually get two months, and it was, I had fun uh, with it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the time with this decks on Daily Duels. If you haven't checked out Zushin, the first duel, uh, well, first video with Zushin, uh, go ahead and check it out. We'll be working on that deck for the next month or so. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, thanks for supporting Necros for the last two months. Thanks for watching.